Hello YouTube, it's Eric Evald. Well, today is supposed to be day one of uh, something that me and my wife have decided to do called a juice feast. Now, a juice feast is a little phenomenon that has sprung up fairly recently in the past 30 years. Um, I'm sure some of you may be familiar with the term juice fasting. And uh, basically a fast is when you drop your caloric intake uh, to a point where your um, digestive metabolism slows down dramatically or stops altogether. Uh, it's normally done with water. Uh, water, The conventional water fasting method um, digestion completely stops after a while, after about three or four days. And uh, it's used, water fasting has been used for eons by human beings for cleansing purposes and, and other spiritual and religious kind of things. Um, juice feasting, however, the main difference in juice feasting as opposed to fasting is that instead of consuming a very low amount of calories or none at all with water fasting, with juice feasting you consume massive amounts of juice. And more than enough calories and certainly infinitely more than enough nutrients to uh, keep your metabolism at a high level during the juice feast and that is the main reason that it can be carried out for such extreme lengths of time like 92 days. Um, anyway I just wanted to um, give you all a little uh, update and um, about the, the juice feast. The, the main reason I wanted to even mention it is that you know part of my motto um, on YouTube is live, learn, evolve. And I grew up eating Happy Meals. I was raised by my grandparents. So they didn't know a whole lot about nutrition, obviously. So they fed me and my sister McDonald's, you know, like every day. And I have the body to show for it now as an adult. Um, now I'm not making excuses. I know a lot of people blame their uh, upbringing and their parents for their state of being. And I don't want to do that. Um, I'm sure it has played a big role, but fact remains as an individual each of us are responsible for ourselves and certainly when we gain knowledge uh, we're responsible for doing the right thing with that knowledge and I have just recently gained the knowledge that um, that eating meat and dairy products and such things are not good for me and that a plant-based diet is by far the healthiest the most nutritious way of eating that one can do so I decided, me and my wife, Denise, decided to plunge into this thing and um, give it a try, you know, and, and to see if our health would, would definitely uh, benefit from this. And uh, we've been doing, uh, we got this um, Vitamix blender here. I don't have the actual blender out. It's um, somewhere buried in the dishes. Uh, anyway, it's a high-speed blender, and we've been using it to make uh, smoothies, vegetable smoothies, or what they call green smoothies, and um, that's worked out pretty good. And we, we ran across this juice feasting thing just recently, and um, supposedly after 92 days of juice feasting, um, you'll you'll be at a place to where physiologically you'll be completely changed. Um, and uh, the, the, we have read numerous accounts of people that have reversed conditions like diabetes and even cancer. Uh, by doing something like this and converting over from a meat-based diet to a, a vegetarian diet. And uh, we're going to try and do the same thing. You know, we're going to evolve. And that's the whole point of evolving. Evolving is change. Change over time. Um, and I've changed a whole lot of things in my life recently. And um, it's kind of a trial and error thing. You know, you try something for a while. If it works, then you keep it. If it doesn't, you discard it. I tried religion for a while. It didn't work. Um, so I discarded it. Um, now I'm going to try this the same way with the same spirit and open mind. I'm going to give it a shot. Um, who knows if I, if three months from now I, I'm anemic, you know, my hair's falling out and I'm wasting away in a hospital bed somewhere. Then I'll know it didn't work, but I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, this right here is, this is the concoction. Today's concoction. This is a mix of uh, kale, spinach, carrots apple and ginger root. Now I tried one with a uh, celery in it and uh, I kid you not the first juice we made last night was so potent and so bad it was like taking the battery out of your car and turning it up 
and attempting to drink the contents. It, it burned my lips, tongue, throat. It was completely inedible. Now, I know a lot of people, at least the people um, you know I've seen on YouTube here, they, they juice celery like it's going out of style. And um, we couldn't do it. I mean, I, I tried it and violently threw up. I cannot get it down. And this here is a, a modified mixture, um, absent the celery, pretty much, is the only difference. And the lemon. We had lemon in it last night, and that was probably the result of my GI incident, uh, was trying to consume a whole lemon in this juice, and that is some potent stuff. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. Uh, I'm able to drink this. It's going down kind of slow. I'm not used to drinking anything like this. and um, But hopefully over time I can retrain myself to uh, absorb this stuff and, and get it down and keep it down. But um, I don't know. I guess we'll just wait and see. We'll see what happens. But um, this is Eric Evolved. I just wanted to um, give you all a little uh, window into my life here to let you know what's going on. And I'll definitely keep, uh, keep you all up to date. And um, assuming I survive this, I'm sure I will. But um, Anyway, this is Eric Evolved. Y'all have a nice day, and uh, keep up the change. Keep an open mind.